What's up everybody? We are continuing the mobile coffee shop Airstream build and today I'm working on a super cool project. Um, it's going to be a little bit tricky too, but we're going to be starting to build the service window. So this is going to be a large, uh, probably like four by roughly three foot window um, that's going to be in the side that opens up and allows them to serve coffee out the side and have people come up and order and all that. All the supports are out and it didn't cave in on itself. It's always a good sign. So the next step is uh, I have the first piece cut for building the frame and this is that C-channel. This is just uh, basically one and a half by one and a half. Uh, I think it's eighth inch or uh, point zero one two five or point one two five, something like that. Um, so basically I'm gonna place this first piece up here. Um, and I'm gonna get it, uh, I'm gonna just put a C-clamp on it to get it you know, momentarily held in place and then I'm gonna kinda move it around and, and position it exactly where it needs to be. I'm gonna level it up to the trailer as well as uh, get it positioned left to right. So left to right, up, down, all those axes and uh, then I'm gonna put a few holes in it and then just get some Clecos to hold that in place and then I'm gonna begin just measuring and cutting the other pieces and getting them uh, positioned into place. The two, the, the top and the bottom are gonna be the C channel. And then for these side pieces, I'm gonna cut that curved piece out of, just I have a piece of plate of the eighth inch. I'm gonna cut those curves based off of these rib pieces that I cut out. And then those are gonna basically just sandwich up against this. And um, then I'm gonna weld eighth inch. Uh, yeah, I think that's like, three quarter inch bar that I have that I'm gonna weld basically on onto those and then weld the whole thing together and then it will just be able to go right in and um, then drill the holes to reattach the skins to it and then we'll build the door part. So relatively straightforward. Pretty straightforward design. I want to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I don't want it to be as flush and seamless. 
seamless as possible as well because I don't want uh, you to be able to like come up to it and it just look, you know, not great. I want it to look just flawless and very well fabricated. That's the goal. Um, and then the outside, it's actually going to have like an outside lip where the seal is. It'll make more sense whenever you show it to you. And then that'll basically like close on the door on the outside and it'll seal to the, the outside there. So. Um, I didn't want it to close and seal into it where the seal was on the inside here. Um, partially because I didn't want water to like pool up inside here. Um, I'd rather have it be on the outside to where it, no, no water would even come close to getting in. So um, that's the design. I'm going <coughs> to uh, keep working on this. And um, I'm not sure if this video is going to be a one part or two part. Uh, I got electrical stuff that I'm doing this weekend. So uh, this may take a pause for a minute while I do a lot of the electrical stuff. I got a guy who works at DFW Airstream who is really good at electrical who's going to come out and just make sure everything is done right because whenever we're dealing with one or uh, yeah, it's 50, 12 volt, 110, 50 amp, and then a 220, 30 amp system that's going to be for the espresso machine, I want to make sure everything is just 100%. Electrical is something that I know pretty well, but I'm not like a master at. So I want to bring somebody who is. <laughs> when you can't do it yourself, either learn it or when you're on a time crunch, just bring somebody else in. <laughs> so. so the next thing I'm working on for the service window is to create the basically the side pieces of the internal frame as well as the door frame. And um, I had the rib pieces that I cut out. And basically, I'm making kind of like a a curved C channel that's going to go, uh, it's going to frame out the straight C channels that I have positioned in there. And I've got one piece that I used uh, the frame, the rib, as a template, and I made the first piece. Um, and so basically, I'm going to take this and then weld, a, you know, a strip of aluminum bar on it to make that frame, and then weld it into the seat channels and make a frame for it. So um, I have the first one and that fits in there wonderfully. Um, so the next thing is to cut the other three out. Uh, one is going to be the same length as this because these that's the outside frame and then uh, two that are going to be a little shorter for the inside door frame. And uh, once we get those cut and cleaned up then we're going to start um, mocking everything up and um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put these in to the frame first or if I want to weld the bar on them first and I'm kind of leaning toward welding the bar on it first and then I'll have those to be able to put in there so I can basically like rivet it in place and then um, like we can cut that center piece out and pull it out as an entire unit and weld it together with the aluminum actually on it so it'll stay you know 100% all squared up and how it's supposed to be. So um, we're going to get started on cutting this. So I got the frames fabricated and uh, the inside one is inside the Airstream and Clecoed in place. And the other one I have right here. And so this is gonna be the outside one. And you can see it's got a uh, flange on here that I fabricated. Basically I took the C-channel, um, built these end pieces, cut those to the curve. Um, if you can see that. And then um, welded this flat plate around the outside to create the seal because it's going to overlap on the outside. Um, it still has the links attached down here because I got to figure out the hinge design fully before I cut those off. Um, and so the next step is going to be to cut out the big hole in the side of the Airstream. Always fun cutting a hole in the side of something. So uh, I'm going to use the shears and basically I'm going to put a piece of uh, painter's tape along where I'm going to cut 
and I'm gonna drill through in the corners from the backside, so that'll give me a place to start the shears, um, as well as show me you know, where my corners are so I can mark it from the outside. Um, so I'm gonna put the painter's tape down and then uh, mark a line on that. Um, so that's gonna keep the outside aluminum from getting all scratched up, and uh, it'll help me mark my line and keep me on track. All right, and it's, it's open for business. We're ready to serve coffee. We got the service window. So we made some great progress on the service window. Um, this is gonna be a two-part video. So in the next part, we're gonna be dealing with the hinge up on the top, as well as assembling the door and getting everything all finished out and looking all flush and amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We got more Airstream content and a bunch more stuff coming. Uh, also check out our social media links below and we will see you next week.